Hello, my name is Brandon with Doc Parser, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert PDF to Excel. Doc Parser is a batch PDF to Excel converter that can convert transactional business documents such as invoices, purchase orders, or delivery notes into structured data in real time. However, our parsing engine is capable of supporting any kind of PDF to Excel conversion. The first step is to have your PDF document ready that you want to convert to Excel. Next, click on Create Document Parser. For this tutorial, I'll be working with a Bill of Materials list in PDF form, so I'll be selecting Purchase Orders. Then name your document, and click Continue. Now you want to upload the document by either dragging or searching for the location of the file to upload, then click continue. Since we'll be parsing lines of data, we want to make sure that we select the line items category. All right, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be parsing all of the data within the columns on the first half of this PDF spreadsheet. Now, like I mentioned before, you can think of each red line as a margin line. Um, what you wanna do is if you wanna parse a particular piece of data, let's say within a column, you wanna make sure that that data is in between two of these lines. So I'll show you an example. Let's start with the first column. Let's say I wanted to parse the data in the first column. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two lines and I'm going to adjust them like so. So that way Doc Parser parses all of the data in between these two lines. One good practice is to scroll your screen from top to bottom each time you set the two uh, lines for each column. So that way you can make sure that the data is uh, going to be selected once the parsing algorithm processes. So in order to add a new line, you can just simply click this button to add a new line. And once again, we're going to do the same process over again. So this is the uh, third line. We want to make sure that all of the data in this column will be parsed. And then we're going to take this line, drag it over just a little bit so that doc parser doesn't cut off any of the data. We're going to do the same process for this column. Once again, I'm going to scroll from top to bottom to make sure that all of the data will be parsed in between the two lines. I can see that it's being cut off here. So I'm going to drag this over just a little bit further. And as you can see, top to bottom, all of the data is in between those two lines. And then last but not least, we're going to do this last column on the first half of this PDF document. So we're going to take these two lines from top to bottom. We're going to scroll down and as you can see, our data fits perfectly in between those two lines. The next thing you want to do is you want to take the box that you see in the background and drag it over all of the data that you will be parsing. Um, so for this case, with all of the lines that I just placed, we're going to be parsing all of the data in between those two lines. So we want to take the box and just pretty much highlight all of the data. So you can click any of the corners and then just drag it like so. It's kind of like uh, resizing an image. And then as you can see, all of the lines that I place will now parse all of the data in between each column. And then the box that I dragged will now parse all of the data within that box. Once you're happy with the results, you can click Confirm. On this screen, you'll see all of your parsed columns in raw, unfiltered format on the top. You'll also see a filter table result that doesn't match certain criterias. You can add multiple filters to further process your data until you have the clean columns of data that you desire. Once you've completed this process, click on Save Parsing Rule to leave the parsing editor. After waiting for roughly 30 seconds, you'll see that Doc Parser has successfully parsed your document. If you'd like to view the data, simply click on the document and you can view the data that was parsed. If you'd like to download this data in CSV format, click Excel Download at the top. 
And if you have any questions about this functionality, please don't hesitate to reach us at support at docparser.com.